Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm Kate Wotherspoon and welcome to the first Connection Cafe. I tried, uh, I tried to do this on my laptop and the thing just would not work so I don't even know. It'll be wobbly, like the camera will be wobbly. Um, I hope I see your I hope I see your comments and I hope I see somebody here and if I don't that's okay but um, thank you for watching and thank you for watching the replay if you're watching the replay so today I am starting on the best day ever today is International Mental Health Day so what I'm talking about is really really important I'm talking about collecting your support network. So in Australia, I'm in Sydney in Australia, actually out in Penrith in New South Wales, and we have um, Are You OK Day? And that's a day when you ask people around you, are you OK? And it puts a focus on are you OK? So asking people, is wonderful because you can change lives. So why this is important is because you can change somebody's life and you can stop somebody from going into, a, into themselves, like sitting by themselves and, you know, feeling that they're not not good enough, feeling that they can't share their story, feeling that, oh, I can see someone, but who is that? Hunter. Hi, Hunter. How are you? It's really good to see you here. So, yeah, talking about, um, you know, building your tribe. I'm in my office at the moment too, so the light isn't, it's terrible. I've just come back from the Gold Coast um, in a seminar there and my laptop didn't work so I'm using my phone so um, yeah it's been wonderful being on the Gold Coast I've had sunny days and this morning I got up and put my sunglasses on and didn't oh, and Tamara hi hi Tamara <laughs> This is going to be so distracting because I am such a talker and I will interact with you. So if you want to question anything or, you know, keep me from getting boring, just ask something or comment or something like that and I will get distracted, believe me. So today I'm talking about collecting your support group and it's really important to so people won't sort of go into themselves because I had a fabulous thing happen on Saturday night that a friend of mine texted me. They, I was, she thought I was going to a party and I wasn't. Uh, and she texted me and just said, are you okay, Kate? Kiss, kiss. And I, I felt really taken care of by that because she could have just not realised that I was there. So, um... And, um, you know, and just gone on with the night. That would have been okay too because I was never going to the party. But it felt like I was part of her tribe and she was part of mine, just asking that. So um, why this is so shaky is because I've set my, uh, my iPad up and it won't work. So, <laughs> um, so what I would love you to do is ask somebody, are they okay? Or even if they change what they do. And um, <laughs> that's so exciting, Hunter. Hunter's on holiday. Uh, thank you so much, Hunter, for getting up. That's wonderful. So, um, oh gee, this is going to be so interesting for me because I have to actually keep my train of thought going. And uh, that's really, yeah, sometimes it's um, tough when you've been 
on the Gold Coast for two weeks, working really, really hard for one of those weeks and then trying to get back into uh, the everyday, you know, happiness and sadness and everything that is life. So um, seeing people go out of their normal, whatever their normal is. So, oh, hi, Samantha. <laughs> Great to see you here. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on the time too because I have clients after this too. I have said this at the wrong time today, not thinking that um, that I have clients today. So I will be leaving you at about probably quarter two, hopefully, and I have to keep the eye, my eye on the time. So uh, if you find people not doing what they normally do, if they're different, sometimes they drop, their energy levels drop. And you know, you know they've been through something, that you know they've been through, you know, their dog has died, their sibling has died, their parents have died, they've moved house, they've moved jobs. Any of these things can bring on grief. So why don't you ask them? Like, are you okay? Like, you're not going to the gym. Somebody who, like I have a gym buddy, Joe, who's amazing that, you know, we sort of compete, I'm a bit competitive. So, as some of you might know. So, Joe notices when I'm not there and he actually private messages me and said, says, Kate, I miss you. And that's all I need. You know, even though my life is going on and I really haven't told him that I wasn't going to the gym, I told the owner, but not him. But he let me know that I was missed. And that's really important because we are wired for connection. We really are. And even in our low times, we really want to share that. We want somebody to sit there with us and just listen. Like, don't try to fix it. Absolutely do not try to fix it. Sometimes all you need to do is sit give a hug if needed if that's the type of person they are listen don't even don't give feedback except asking are you okay and thank you so much for all the love that you're showing me right now it's really that connection is really really important so give that in real life to people give that connection know that people are needed, loved, wanted, and they make a difference in life. I'm seeing, um, like I've been seeing a few clients, a few different clients who were shocked at, you know, their friends dying by suicide. They said, we had no idea. They looked amazing. They were the CEO. They dressed really well. They had great cars. They had family. They were brilliant, you know, and they were exciting people. I don't understand why they killed themselves. So, you know, just notice how people are living their lives and are they living it differently to what they usually do? So, um, you know, make sure you notice those little differences. Make sure that you tell people you love them. I really, sometimes in person, I feel really awkward saying that to friends and family but I really do love them and I love them for who they are the the joy that they bring into my life I love everyone that makes me who I am because they are just bright sparks in my life I absolutely love them so let someone know today let someone know that you're there, that you've noticed them, that you realise that, you know, that they would make a difference, that they do make a difference in your life and that you really love having them around. So do that today, just that one thing and see what, oh, who's, who's that? Oh, Nicola, hi! <laughs> It's great to see you. You'll have to watch the replay to listen to what's, what I hap uh, what's happening. And I'm in New South Wales now at work. So 
All this love is great. Thank you. And we've just been talking about showing love. So what? I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Nicola. So um, that's what I want you to do today. And I'm going to have to finish really right now because I'm going to be seeing clients. But so the one thing you have to do today, really, really, really have to do is notice people's lives. Notice what they're doing. Notice how they're different. Notice, you know, if there's anything different and then ask, are you okay? You know, oh, you're not here. I've noticed you're not here and it's something you absolutely love. So, you know, we want to be connected. We really, really want to be connected. So if you want more of this stuff, come back next Wednesday for the Connection Cafe and hopefully I will be in a place where I can use Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi and not my hotspot. <laughs> And I'm getting shown so much love right now. It's so, so heart filling. It really is. So, you know, this I'm feeling, you know, people in my life right now making a difference to me. So go out and make a difference to someone else as well. So what I'd love you to do is, you know, message me. Oh, email me, email me. I've got a new account. It's kate at katewatherspoon.com. So email me with any questions, comments, what you'd love me to talk about because I have so much to share. And if that's not hitting what you want, let me know. Let me know how you feel about this because I'll get better at this. I love talking. I don't know if you've noticed, but I love talking. And stories is my thing. I want people to share their sh share their story, feel connected. That is my one passion in life is share, share, share and listen. Actually sit and be present with people. So that's the end. Oh look, I did have a cup of coffee too. I got it from Thor's Cafe downstairs. They absolutely make the best coffee in Penrith. I love them. So... <laughs> show up next week with your cup of coffee and um, email me and I'll put the link below and I'll see you next week and thank you so much for being here and you are amazing too Nicola thank you so much and thank you every everybody for listening you all have a great day too it's been wonderful being here I look forward to seeing you next week Thanks Nicola, uh, thanks, Nicola and Hunter. That is wonderful. I'll have to read the rest of it because I can't see it um, on my phone. So I'll read the rest of it when I get off here, Hunter. I love your connection with me on my, web, on my um, Facebook page. Thanks so much for being there. And thanks Tamara for being there. And all the other people who will be watching this on replay, thank you so much. I really am grateful for you being here. So bye. I'll see you next week. Bye.